Good morning again, fellow seekers of the real. <clears throat> I'm glad to be alive today, and I hope that you are too, as we start another five-day cycle of Nadi Shodhana, Ultra Nostril Breathing. Let's get right to it. <clears throat> Our mudra of the day is Aro Mukha Mudra, downward facing. You touch your thumbs together, and then you drop your hands so your fingers are facing downwards, and the back of the hands are touching each other. Fingers connected. Thumbs behind, just like that. It's for digestive fire, fire and uh, reducing toxicity, preparing the mind for recitation of mantra. All right, so with that is one that you can practice on your own. <clears throat> Let's get into what we're doing today. So, Nadi Shodhana, the alter and astral technique. Some people think that all of pranayama is Nadi Shodhana, leading to that. Inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right. We're going to do our four rounds with the usual open nostrils on the first three rounds, partially closed on the inhale on the second round, partially closed on the exhale on the third round, and then both nostrils partially closed on the last round. And then the subsequent days we'll be adding the kumbhakas and maybe velomas. All right, so find your seat, <clears throat> extend your spine evenly, stretching the chest to the right and left of the midline, both on the front and back of the body, dropping your chin into Jalandar Banda, taking a few restorative breaths, and find out what you're bringing to your practice today. All right, so as we go do this, remember, <clears throat> Satya, your truthfulness is of whatever you're doing thoroughly, that's the truth toward yourself and your pranayama practice. So let's get to it. Exhale your breath, raise the hand. Lock your left, open right, and breathe in. Lock the right, exhale, open left. Inhale through the open left. Lock the left, exhale through the open right. Relax your hand and restorative breathing. Now, all of our practice feeds back into taking the fruit of the practice off of the mat, which means your purpose, your duty, your dharma. You're an intermediary between you and the transcendent world. So your life and your body are manifestations of that transcendent mystery. Let's enact it. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, block the left, open the right, breathe in. Block the right, open left, exhale. And inhale through the open left. Block the left, exhale, open right. your hand and restore the breathing again. Now we're coming into the third cycle of the first round. Exhale the breath, raise the hand. Block your left, open right, breathe in. Block the right, exhale, open left. Inhale, open left. Block the left, exhale, open right. Relax your hand and restore the breathing. So many times the masters put the metaphor put the ball back in your court as well by saying it's about letting go, emptying out. Let go a little bit, you have a little bit of peace and happiness. Let go a lot, you have a lot more peace and happiness. Let go completely, whatever that means, complete happiness and peace. Nice promise, no guarantee. Let's keep practicing. Second round is going to be partially closed nostril on the inhale, open nostril on the exhale. Release the breath. Raise the hand. 
Block the left, narrow the right, and breathe in. Block the right, open the left, exhale. Narrow the left and breathe in. Block left, open right, exhale. Relax the hand and restore the breathing. Keep practicing, friends. The teachers can never give you what you already have. So ground this knowledge based on your own experience. Exhale the breath, second cycle in the second round. Raise the hand, block the left, narrow the right, breathe in. Block right, open left, exhale. Narrow the left, inhale. Block the left, exhale, open right nostril. Relax your hand, restore to breathing. Get ready for the third cycle in the second round as we continue with our hunger for the infinite. Raise the hand, block the left, narrow the right, breathe in. Close the right, partially open the left, uh, open the left, exhale. Partially close the left, breathe in. Block the left, open the right, exhale. Relax your hand and restore the breathing. You know, when you practice yoga, you get very relaxed, very mellow, very, very compassionate. Like the Taoists say, living beings, when they're living, they're soft and tender. When they're dead, they're hard and stiff. So that means the tender and the fragile are parts of life, and the dry and the stiff and the hard are parts of death. Be soft and tender and be alive. Be hard and rigid and you're dead. Third cycle, <clears throat> open right nostril, inhale, partially close left nostril on the exhale, open left nostril, inhale, partially close right nostril on the exhale. Let's get to it. Restorative breath, raise the hand, block left, open right nostril, inhale, Block the right, partially close the left, exhale. Open left, inhale. Block the left, narrow the right, exhale. Relax the hand and restore the breathing. My teacher was such a bhakti, bhakta, devotion, devotional yogi, even though everybody thinks of him as just a hatha yogi. He always says, when you inhale, take in the warmth, elation, and joy, like you're receiving the life force as a gift from the infinite. And with the exhale, surrender yourself with a sense of gratitude and humility for having life of the living spirit embodied in you. Second cycle, exhale your breath, raise your hand. Block your left, open the right, breathe in. Block the right, narrow the left, exhale. Good. 
open the left inhale. Close the left, narrow the right exhale. Relax your hand, restorative breathing. If you're going to be disciplined over a long period of time, here's a great one-liner. You have to disallow your shortcomings from interfering. A lot of people let those voices resound with a lot of force and power, and it sabotages the practice. Disallow your shortcomings from interfering. Whatever excuses you tell yourself, excuses be gone. Keep doing it, even when you don't feel well, even when the weather's not right, even when other things in your life are just not lining up the way you'd like to. Hit the mat again. Third cycle. Third round, exhale the breath, raise the hand. Block your left, open the right, breathe in. Block the right, narrow the left, exhale. Open the left, inhale. Narrow the, block the left, narrow the right, exhale. And restorative breathing. As we get to the last round, which is the partially closed nostrils, both on the inhale and the exhale, that's why we do the other variations prior to that, to build up to that and see which one you're strong and which one you're weak in. And you ultimately want to develop the narrow quality. <clears throat> but one of the things I love about breathing is it's a direct, literal experience. You face the fact of what actually is going on rather than to solely try to churn out a result. And that brings you into awareness, simplicity of awareness and paying attention to what's going on. Let's do it. First round in the last cycle. Exhale the breath. Raise the hand. Block your left. Narrow the right. Breathe in. Block right. Narrow the left. Exhale. Breathe in through the narrow left nostril. Block the left, narrow the right, exhale. Relax the hand and restore the breathing. So one of the benefits and purposes of uh, doing Nadi Shodhana, Altam Nostril Breathing, is to bring the energy of the two sides, the Ida and Pingala, the Ha and the Ta, so the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system, the hemispheres of the brain, however you want to define the two energies, to balance for the sake of centering yourself and stilling your mind. Second cycle, exhale the breath, raise the hand, block left, narrow right, breathe in. Block right, narrow left, exhale. Narrow left nostril, breathe in. Block the left, narrow right, nostril exhale. Relax your hand and restore the breathing. You know, just like the tempering of a sword where you heat it up, you pound it, you stick it in cold water, you heat it up, you pound it, you stick it in cold water, it's called tempering. So this vacillating back and forth between the right and the left nostrils is a kind of yogic 
alchemy, tempering the two sides, balancing the two sides, so your own body and mind becomes the vessel for transformation. Let's alternate one more time. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, block left, narrow right, breathe in. Block right, narrow left, exhale. Breathe in through the narrow left. Block your left, narrow the right, exhale. Relax your hands and restore the breathing. You can raise your head up and you can rise. If you have the time, don't forget to do some Shavasana, relax and feel what you created. And remember, we all have a, an, op an opportunity, countless opportunities to beckon, to serve, to give. And because so many people have, don't have the ability, inability to grasp the depth dimensions of life and its interconnectivity. So part of our job as practitioners and then those of us who are, are teachers is to educate people and to help broaden their perspective and awareness, and develop clarity in thinking, tolerance, and of course, take it into real politics. Have a lovely day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.